week. Today marks the end of Severe Weather Awareness Week. Here is a quick review of the important points made this week. Over the last 20 years, severe weather has killed 109 people in New York, including 49 people due to flooding, 15 due to tornadoes, 32 due to damaging thunderstorm winds, and 13 from lightning. In addition, severe weather has cost over three quarters of a billion dollars in damage. On average, the National Weather Service issues 400 severe thunderstorm warnings, 17 tornado warnings, and about 150 flash flood warnings each year for New York State. Plan now to keep safe during severe weather. Before a storm, develop a plan for you and your family at home, school, work, and when outdoors. Identify a safe place to take shelter. Conduct frequent drills. Know what action you will take when a warning is issued. Know where you live. The National Weather Service issues warnings based on a specific storm's movement. Know where to tune to receive the latest weather information. During severe weather, postpone outdoor activities if thunderstorms are imminent. Move to a sturdy building or car. Stay away from tall objects such as towers, isolated trees, and telephone poles. If caught outdoors, find a low spot. Make sure your choice is not susceptible to flooding. If in the woods, take shelter under smaller trees. If you are boating or swimming, seek shelter on land immediately. If a tornado warning is issued, move to a pre-designated place of safety, preferably a basement or interior room. Stay away from windows. Get as low to the ground as possible. Cover your head. If caught outdoors and the tornado threatens, lie flat in a ditch or depression, and cover your head with your hands. Be aware of flying debris. Flying debris causes most fatalities and injuries during a tornado. Mobile homes offer little protection from a tornado. Evacuate your mobile home and move to your designated place of safety. Flash flooding can be deadly. Never underestimate the power of water. Almost half of all flash flood-related deaths occur in automobiles. Few feet of flowing water will cause most cars to float. Smaller cars will float in less water. Flooding hazards are increased at night when visibility is reduced. The National Weather Service urges you to respect all barriers that warn of flooded roads. Turn around, don't drown. The National Weather Service issues severe weather watches and warnings. A watch means that severe weather, severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, or flash flooding is possible. You should already know what to do if a warning is issued. A warning means that severe weather is imminent or occurring. When any severe weather warning is issued, take immediate action to protect your life. Taking steps now to prepare for severe weather will help keep you and your family safe should flooding threaten your neighborhood. For more information on Severe Weather Awareness, visit our webpage. Today concludes Severe Weather Awareness Week.